whenever we are writing answer leave a line in between every point because presentation is really very important of nowadays we all are facing problems of distractions hello class 10 board aspirants how are you all i hope your board exam preparations are going well so myself dr ankita and i bring you all some tips and tricks of attempting biology paper okay everyone now let's begin with our session guys before going for the more details of the subject it is very important for us to discuss the syllabus which is included in biology so in our syllabus we have two units unit 2 the world of living which has a weightage of 25 marks and it includes life process control and coordination reproduction and heredity and evolution now remember guys from heredity and evolution we have the deleted part of syllabus which includes evolution complete that means the topics included are evolution evolution and classification and the evolution should not be equated with progress the second unit of our syllabus is unit 5 natural resource and its total weightage is 5 marks which includes two chapters our environment and management of natural resources again the management of natural resources is a part for the internal assessment and the questions from this chapter will be asked in your school exams not in the board exam right so i hope the syllabus is clear now let's proceed with the discussion of learning skills of biology whenever we are talking about biology everyone you have to remember that biology includes two major aspect one is the theoretical part and second is diagram and for the theoretical part some key points that you have to remember they include definitions you have to be very thorough with the definitions of biology you have to be very thorough with the terminologies whatever terminology is given in our syllabus you have to be very thorough with them because spelling mistakes are not allowed in our exam then for a quick revision use a flow chart or a line diagram method and also you have to be very thorough with the difference based question assertion reason and the case study based question the second aspect of our subject is diagrams and whenever we have to talk about diagrams remember everyone practice diagrams thoroughly and maximum diagrams of our syllabus are coming from two major chapter life processes and reproduction so practice all the diagrams which are given in your ncrt nicely and whenever you are drawing the diagram please remember to label the diagram properly by pencil okay so i hope the learning skills are clear now let's move on to how to attempt biology paper okay so what we have to remember read the question carefully to understand what is asked in the question because understanding a question is really very important for us then answer according to the weightage you have to remember the weightage of question and answer accordingly it's not like for a two mark question you are answering as a long paragraph okay now in questions having internal choices read both the questions completely then decide which part you can answer to gain full marks and is taking less time to attempt for an example i bring a screenshot of sample paper shared by cbsc and it is question number 23 in this question as you can see it has an option so you have to read both the optional questions and decide wisely which question is suitable for you to gain full marks and is taking less time to attempt okay everyone now let's proceed further you have to avoid writing long paragraphs write answers in points and keep the flow of information coherent you have to strictly follow the question pattern if they are asking about photosynthesis just explain about photosynthesis definition and if they are not asking the mechanism of photosynthesis please not attempt okay now be careful while writing terminologies learn spellings well for the theory as well as for the diagrams labeling because they are the major points if you are writing if you are making mistakes in spelling you will get marks less marks okay now underline the important terms by pencil to highlight 
whenever you are writing answer and if you think that there are some special points which will provide you which will help you in gaining more marks okay so highlight them separately by pencil so that they can be easily observed by your examiner okay everyone then whenever we are writing answer leave a line in between every point okay to make your presentation very neat and clean and for the difference based question draw a proper table as you can see here it is a sample of a topper's copy shared by cbse itself and here the student is writing answer about difference between blood and lymph and you all can clearly see the answer is written point wise in between each and every point they leave a line okay and a proper tabular method is used to explain the differences right everyone then use a flow chart method for explanation whenever it is required and mention examples to support your answers wherever you can because examples are actually providing support to gain good marks in your answers or in your exams so for example the student gave the whole food chain okay to explain the flow of energy in ecosystem and also the table method to explain this process okay then also you have to remember if they are asking question about hybridization cross whether it is mono hybrid di hybrid cross or the question is about six determination use a proper flow chart method rather than making your presentation dirty you have to make it very clean okay and don't forget to mention the genotypic and phenotypic ratio okay everyone now avoid overwriting if you make mistake cut it by a single line okay to keep your answer presentation neat and clean because presentation is really very important of for us to make an impression over the examiner okay so if you are looking at the copy here student wrote four in correct statements okay four lines completely incorrect so with a single strike through the student make mark them and started writing answer again right so in this way the presentation is very neat and clean and examiner also understand that this part is incorrect okay right now whenever we have to draw a diagram label it neatly okay mention figure by pencil at the end not at the sides not at above the diagram but at the end of the diagram you have to label it at least use half page for diagram and label it correctly okay then label only that what is asked in the question and mention the example you have to read the question everyone if they are asking you to draw the diagram then you have to label all the parts of that particular diagram but if they are asking to draw the diagram and label the particular parts they are mentioning in question so you have to label only those particular parts not all the parts okay as for an example you can see the student draw the electrochemical transfer of nerve impulse neatly and label it nicely okay so you have to remember these points while writing your answers now these are the topics which i want to focus for you all on biology okay but before moving towards the end i just want to discuss with you all about the distractions nowadays we all are facing problems of distractions and these distractions are not at all helping us in achieving our goals so how to avoid them and what are these let's discuss them so you have to avoid the addiction of sns television and mobile for a time being when you have your board exams just focus on your studies everyone most important part overthinking please stop overthinking about anything you are having if you are overthinking discuss them with your teachers with your elders so that we can better help you okay now what are the points that will help us in achieving our goals first is creating habits like you have to manage a proper wake up and sleep cycle if you think that you are stressed you are overthinking you are not able to cope with your studies please meditate and exercise it will all help you in energizing your body now take time to reflect and review everyone if you guys are going through the sample papers you have to check 
you have to daily practice questions and how many correct questions you have attempted how many questions you attempted incorrectly and how many questions you left unattempted and all the doubts if you are having okay ask doubts to your teachers okay the most important part manage your schedule and for that you have to revise all the subjects and chapters before your board exams timely and give more time to the difficult chapters or you are facing problems with okay so i hope you understood this to the point discussion sure everyone now these are the points which i want to discuss with you accordingly for my subject as well as regarding the distractions now before ending this topic i just want to say you all you have to stay tuned with us for the other subject strategy and most importantly you can check the description box for the playlist and if you have any queries please drop down your queries in the comment box and i just wish you all the very best thank you everyone